What happens to your septic system during a power outage? It's a question that may not cross your mind until you're in the dark, literally. Septic systems are integral to our homes, quietly managing waste and keeping our environment clean. But what happens when the power goes out? Do these systems keep performing their duty, or do they take a break? Understanding how your septic system operates, particularly during a power outage, is crucial. So, let's draw back the curtain and take a closer look at the different types of septic systems and see how they fare during a power outage. You probably have one of the following septic systems. First up is the conventional system. This is the most common type of septic system, and it's designed to operate using gravity. Essentially, wastewater flows from your home into a tank where solids settle to the bottom. The remaining liquid then moves into a series of perforated pipes buried in a leach field where it's absorbed into the ground. Because of its reliance on gravity, a conventional system typically doesn't need electricity to function unless there's a need for a pump to move water uphill. Next, we have the chamber system. Similar to the conventional system, it uses gravity to move wastewater from your home to a septic tank. But instead of a leach field, it uses a series of chambers where wastewater is stored and slowly absorbed into the ground. This type of system also doesn't rely heavily on electricity, unless pumps are used. Last but not least, we have advanced treatment systems. These are more complex and use a variety of biological, chemical, and mechanical processes to treat wastewater before it's released into the environment. Because of their complexity, these systems generally require a steady supply of electricity to operate. In the absence of power, these systems can malfunction or fail, potentially leading to untreated wastewater contaminating the environment. So, as you can see, the operation and reliance on electricity vary significantly among these systems. It's crucial to understand the specifics of your own system to effectively manage power outage situations. Now that we know the basics of these systems, let's find out what to do if your system uses a pump. Remember that this could be the case with a conventional or chamber system. When the power goes out, one of the first things you should think about is how you're using water. Why? Because your septic system's pump needs electricity to move wastewater from the tank to the drain field. Without power, this process halts. Here's a big warning. If you keep using water like normal, flushing toilets, taking showers, washing dishes, the septic tank fills up. And when there's no place for the effluent or liquid sewage to go, it might just find its way back into your house. Yikes. So what can you do to avoid this messy situation? Here are some simple tips to be smart about water use during a power outage. Take short showers. Keep them quick to reduce water usage. Skip the laundry day. Since you have no power, this should be easy to do. This is not a moment to be creative and wash your clothes by hand. Be mindful when brushing teeth, shaving, or rinsing dishes. Don't let the tap run unnecessarily. Don't flush the toilet every time for just liquid waste. This can save a significant amount of water. Next, we go over what you can do to help your system in a power outage. You probably have an on-demand pump system since they are the most common, but you should verify that. An on-demand pump system springs into action whenever the water level in your septic tank hits a certain mark. It then pumps the liquid sewage, also known as effluent, from the tank into the drain field. This process is crucial for the proper disposal of your home's wastewater. But what happens during a power outage? Well, the pump can't do its job without electricity. During these times, the septic and pump tanks keep collecting wastewater. Once the power comes back, the pump might rush to clear out the backlog all at once. This sudden release can flood your drain field, which is something we want to avoid as it can lead to complications. So, what's the solution? Here's a simple two-step guide to managing your pump system during a power outage, turning you into a sort of human timer for your system. Step 1. Turn the pump circuit off as soon as you lose power. This prevents the pump from trying to clear the backlog all at once when electricity is restored. Step 2. Once the power is back, you'll manually control the pump. Turn it on for just two minutes and then off for four to six hours. This process, known as dosing, slowly releases the right amount of effluent into the drain field over time. If there wasn't much water use during the outage, your pump might automatically shut off during this manual dosing, which is a good sign. And there you have it, a guide to managing your septic system during power outages. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thanks for watching.